Hey guys, it's me, EUD Gaming here, and in this video, I want to discuss patience is all you need, the light cone, signature light cone for Kafka, and why I actually am skipping the light cone, and I'll also share with you my thoughts, uh, exactly what I think about it. Uh, first things first, I'm not going to like give you a long, long-winded process. I'm going to share with you real quick. Do I think it's a good light cone? Uh, overall, yes. I think that out of all of the light cones we have in the game, this light cone probably is one of the better uh, limited 5-star light cones, giving good amounts of damage, giving a lot of speed which Kafka likes and also even having this very versatile erode which any nihility character in future will be able to proc uh, the effect of shock as well uh, this is i think super super good but i want to share with you some things that i'm considering and even though this is like so strong already on its own and it's pretty desirable quite versatile which checks most of my boxes if you have seen the other video on my thought process when i used to select limited light cones for those of you uh, new viewers to the channel i actually pull uh, characters to do a lot of videos for all of you out there but one thing i don't do is i don't pull on every single limited light cone like you can see i have some of them like zealous one but i skipped some like ding yuan's i skipped luotas i skipped or, or skipped um, silver wolf as well but i pulled on blade and intentionally i'm going to be skipping on kafka's one as well i'm going to be sharing with you my thought process and the first thing that i want to talk about uh, in terms of choice, uh, you must understand right now in version 1.2, we currently are in a game state where Kafka's banner is out and it's already been drip marketed for two strong characters to be up next, which is going to be Dan Heng uh, or Imbibita Im Lune, some of you might call it, and as well as Fu Shen, who is going to be coming out in future. Both of them are imaginary and quantum characters, one destruction character, and of course Fu Shen is going to be a preservation character that we know for sure. I think it's worth saving up a bit of excess resources, especially if you're planning to pull on light cones uh, to get new characters, in fact, to widen your roster because we currently do not have an imaginary main DPS and we do not have a quantum uh, preservation unit as well. So those are two very big things when you're deciding how to spend your resource. This one, is it good? Yes, I would say it's a fantastic light cone, but I think it also has its alternatives. Let me just pull up uh, the data bank real quick here going into the Nihility light cones. Um, if you are if you are thinking about having this and maybe you even have in the name of the world this is also pretty decent it gives you good amounts of damage increase similarly for both of them of course you lose out on the speed you lose out on the additional erode effect but you do get nice uh, decent amounts of attack decent amount of hit rate and this is a uh, technically any free to play can get this if you trade enough uh, in the shop as well if you don't have that Good Night Sleep Well is also a fantastic light cone. For me personally, I have it at Super Imposition 5. You have 74%, stacking up to 3 times. This one is like 72%, uh, making it a very, very decent competitor. For example, to patience is all you need already. And that is why one of the major reasons why I'm also skipping it. I don't see it as a huge priority for the damage bump for uh, Kafka right now, especially when I already have a very good Super Imposition Good Night Sleep Well. If you don't have this light cone and maybe at high Super Imposition or you have it very low i could see a case where you want to look for a stronger one like patience is all you need a little bit more maybe but uh, as the time goes by you will tend to get more and more uh, four star light cones as you keep playing the game you pull on different banners and maybe you get lucky or unlucky depending on how you see it as well uh, other than that i think fermata is also a pretty decent free to play option you get 32 percent increased damage also uh, at super imposition 5 this is a free to play light cone so it's not as if she's going to be unusable and there's like no alternative exists there are quite a bit of alternatives one of them is a free to play you can even make her a defense shredder if you want uh, and damage you can of course go with good night sleep well or the free to play uh, five star standard light cone so to speak and who knows that if there's a nihility light cone coming up in future in the herta shop those might be interesting to consider as well for now we don't see that information we don't really know yet uh, to be exactly precise and that is why i'm holding this off i think it's good for the future uh, this is the one that i'm actually looking at very nice to turn any nihili character into a shock proker but i think i can wait for a rerun if kafka is definitely going to come back her banner is going to make money for Hoyoverse. Hoyoverse is definitely going to put her back eventually. Uh, who knows how long, but you know for sure that she's coming back a sooner rather than later because Hoyoverse wants to monetize. They're still a company after all. And by then, we will have known uh, information on the standard light cone for Nihility. We will also have more visibility on the character pool, character roster, and also to see whether this secondary effect is really that good, whether any other lightning characters do require shock to be there in order to work. For example, maybe a future lightning destruction or lightning hunt five star character that is like super super meta but who knows all just speculation at this point and that is why i'm actually skipping uh, so far i don't regret any of my skips i actually have 
only two limited light cones currently. I'm pulling for Zealer, I'm pulling for Blade, uh, that they are signature light cone. Skip the rest of them so far. And yeah, those are my honest thoughts. And let me know your thoughts. Are you pulling? Did you pull or do you skip? I don't think there's a right and wrong. It's based on resource allocation. Everyone's needs are different. And if you appreciate such honest uh, content that I'm sharing with you, do give me a like, comment, subscribe for more of such future content as well. And check out these other Kafka videos because you likely have Kafka if you're watching this video. Uh, and do check these videos out. I think it's going to be tons of help and interesting to you. Thanks so much for watching. See you in the next video.